The real reasons these Walking Dead stars quit the show. The Walking Dead doesn't shy away from killing its characters, but the show often leaves the door open for a return when the star is bigger. During 10 seasons of The Walking Dead, we've had quite a few of our favorite show characters' losses due to the regular plot death. Some of the cast members left the show scandalously, others got unexpectedly thrown out from the series, and there are those who traded the show for family or Hollywood blockbusters. Number 1. Lauren Cohen got a network gig After joining The Walking Dead in Season 2, Maggie Green evolved into one of the show's strongest and most important characters, leading the Hilltop and the Militia, all while fighting off countless walkers. Strangely, Maggie disappeared from The Walking Dead in Season 9, off in search of new bands of survivors. Of course, since Maggie didn't die, actress Lauren Cohen could feasibly come back to the show. Rumors about her departure started to spread at around the same time as Lincoln's, but her reason for leaving is entirely different. Even though she also played one of the leading characters, her salary was substantially lower than those of her male co-stars, Andrew and Norman. So, when her contract ended, she began renegotiations, but alas, AMC and Lauren disagreed. Lauren immediately made herself available for new projects. That's how she got the main role of a CIA agent in ABC series Whiskey Cavalier, which was cancelled after only one season. Fortunately for the fans of The Walking Dead, Cohen not only appeared in several episodes of Season 9, but also was confirmed as a cast member for the forthcoming episodes of Season 10 and Season 11. Number 2. Jeffrey DeMunn left The Walking Dead because he was loyal to the original showrunner Jeffrey DeMunn's character wasn't supposed to be killed off so quickly, and this was not without a conflict. Previously, DeMunn had already worked with Darabont, who wrote and produced the show, and it was mostly because of him that DeMunn agreed to take a role in the yet unknown zombie series. I didn't have to think about it. It was Frank. I knew it was going to be quality, said DeMunn. But after the first season, AMC and Darabont didn't reach a general agreement on the number of seasons and their budget. And then there were the shocking leaked emails that Darabont had written to the showrunners and the cast. He expressed strong dissatisfaction with the writer's team and used rather rude words and even threats in his emails. Dale's death was my decision. I was furious about how Frank was pushed out of the show, so I called them and said, It's a zombie show. Kill me. I don't want to do this anymore. He is currently starring in the TV series Billions as Charles Rhodes. Number 3. It was back to school for Chandler Riggs We all watched Carl grow up right in front of our eyes. His death came as a shock to fans. After all, he was one of the few characters that stayed alive from the series pilot episode right up to season 8. Although it may have seemed like the actor decided to leave on his own to pursue other challenges, this wasn't the case. I did what I had to do. Riggs's dad revealed in a now-deleted Facebook comment that it wasn't his son who had chosen to leave and that he was furious about what had happened. Watching Gimple fire my son two weeks before his 18th birthday after telling him they wanted him for the next three years was disappointing. I never trusted Gimple or AMC, but Chandler did. I know how much it hurt him. But we do absolutely know how lucky we have been to be a part of it all and appreciate all the love from fans all these years. Chandler himself revealed that leaving the show was hard, but he's thrilled with how he left. In comparison to other actors, Riggs left peacefully, without any scandals. Number 4. Denai Gurira is way too busy with movies and theatre A lot of Walking Dead fans would argue that the show went from good to great when Denai Gurira joined the cast in Season 2 as Michonne, a mysterious katana-wielding warrior who evolved from wandering the wastes with two chained walkers to a leader of the show's leading survivor group. But sadly, at San Diego Comic-Con 2019, Guerrera announced that she would walk away from The Walking Dead after the show's forthcoming 10th season. I can confirm that this is the last season I will be on this amazing TV show as Michonne, Guerrera said. It is not connected to my heart. My heart stays right here. It was about my calling and other things I feel called to. The opportunities I've had exploring it as a creator of work. Number 5. Sonequa Martin-Green got another acting gig Sasha was such a beloved character and it was terrible to see her becoming a dead walker. While filming the seventh season, she got the main role in the Star Trek Discovery series. I know some people might think that I left Walking Dead to do Star Trek, but it did not happen that way. It was after Walking Dead was already ending that the opportunity for Star Trek came. She was ready for Sasha's death in The Walking Dead as everything led to this. 
In the comics, Sasha also did not live long. Therefore, as odd as this may sound, the end of her character can be called a lucky coincidence for the actress because she is the first African-American female lead in a Star Trek series, and she rocked that role in a Star Trek costume. However, that's not the case, according to Martin Green. She got the sci-fi job after she found out she'd be losing her horror job. Number 6. Andrew Lincoln left The Walking Dead because he missed his kids. After Carl's death, many fans started actively discussing the departure of Andrew Lincoln because the main thing for Rick from the very first episode was the desire to protect his family. Here, the actor is similar to his character. He puts his family above everything else. Lincoln left the show that brought him worldwide fame in favor of spending more time with his family in the UK. Just imagine him going back and forth between Georgia and London for eight years. I have two young children and I live in a different country and they become less portable as they get older. It was that simple. It was time for me to come home. Despite Andrew's promise to fans that he will never return to the Walking Dead TV series, he will portray Rick on a trilogy of feature-length films set for theatrical distribution. We miss all those characters, but hopefully the TV series creators have prepared some exciting plot twists to keep the fans satisfied.